So in Atmel Studio, we can use the Atmel Ice hardware debugger, and we're just going to show you how to set that up. So here we have a simple sketch with a couple of INO files and some very simple code. So first we have to select our board and select the right COM port for your board as normal from the visual micro menus. And then if you go to the visual micro menu and ensure that the debugger and Atmel Studio debugger option is checked, and this allows Visual Micro to hand over to Atmel Studio to perform all the debugging. Now here we've left it as no programmer, so we'll use the standard serial programmer. However, you may wish to select the Atmel Studio programming and that will then again hand over to Atmel Studio. So as we're just using the debugger, if you go to your project properties and ensure that your debugger is selected as the tool, you will have to plug it in before it shows up here. So if you can't see it, do make sure it's connected. So if you save all your options, and then we just need to go and set some breakpoints in our code. So we'll set a couple, and we're going to try and get into the very start of the setup method here as well. So we're going to want to use the start debugging option. So if we press debug, and then start debugging and break, this will perform the upload through whichever method you have specified and then it will attach the debugger at the very start of the program. So you'll be able to get into your setup code, for example. So this is actually the start of the Arduino H that you see there. And then if you step again, you'll end up on your first breakpoint in setup. And we have the usual continue and step over and step into actions as normal. And of course, you've got all of the watches and the standard serial monitor options available as well. So here we can see if we step into that method, the first thing that's evaluated is millis. So if we go and step out and then step back in again, we'll then step into the time diff function in our INO. So this can be a disadvantage if you do wrap lots of functions together. It can be harder to navigate when you're trying to debug. And here's the serial port window. So we can drag this in. And if we continue in the code, we should see the rest of the serial output coming through. 